Good morning, my YouTube friends. I wanted to show you this amazing plant. It is called a peppermint stick balsam. Both the leaves and the flowers are edible. And it's it's incredible, in, edible, incredible. And but I wanted to show you how it um, how it seeds for the following year. Off of these blooms, somehow it's sending off these little seeds. And these seeds get larger and larger and larger. And I want to find one that has maybe already popped down at the bottom. No, well, do I see one down there? Yeah, see how it's already popped off and, and sent, its, um, bear, uh, sent its seeds out. But I want to show you, I want to do this gently. And, and whoops, whoop, never mind, we'll get another one. Uh, take a couple that are uh, large. Let me find a big one because this is so cool whenever they pop open. It's like they're spring loaded. I've ne I don't think I've ever experienced <laughs> having a, a seed head that that just popped at me like, like it had such energy inside to send its sends its seeds all over the place. But I want to show you what, what they look like. This is what they, I got these from Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds. And uh, you can see how they were only supposed to be two feet high and mine have grown like four and five. And that's a morning sun uh, protected with the bougainvillea. But, um, so it's not a really direct sunlight, but you can see these little seeds. And this is the pod, you saw the pod. But watch closely, watch carefully on this. Let me try and pull this. Whoop, did you feel, I felt it in my fingers popping it. It didn't spring out at me. But there's the little seed head. And these all come off and there's how many there? Maybe about eight or ten. Can you imagine each seed, each of these things probably had four, whoops, there goes another one. I don't think this one is quite, yeah. you can feel, you can feel you, you can feel it pop in your fingers. Whoops, see that? Can you imagine in nature this thing popping everywhere? And those are incredible. I mean, I probably have, um, I don't know, 60, 70 seeds right there. And uh, I could, I could, I could give seeds to everyone, I think, just with this one little patch. So uh, I thought that was really cool. I've never, I've never had a seed, a seed pot actually like explode in my fingers. And uh, this has just been uh, just an incredible experience to uh, see these grow. Uh, they start out quite small. Uh, can you imagine when I go and, and cut these back? And um, I I tried a few of them and they were, um, mm, it wasn't as spicy as I thought it was going to be. It didn't, it, but I think they would probably be good if you had them like in a stir fry or something. Uh, not so much to mask the flavor, but to use the incredible um, uh, body of these leaves. I mean, they're they're really, you know, they're really quite, oh, I'm so, geez, I, this is kind of addicting, isn't it? Look, whee, and they spring open just like that. Or as the, the Brits say, quick as your Uncle Bob. I don't know who Uncle Bob is, but he must be very quick. And so, uh, anyway, back to this. Um, I think the flowers would be beautiful on a salad. Could you imagine them on top of a cake? They would just be so pretty. Look, that's just one bloom. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's two blooms. No, no, that's one bloom. Let me pinch that. Yep, that's one bloom. I'll tell you. Hmm, I don't like the taste. Maybe somebody else would, but I don't. But can you imagine whenever I pull all of these out, all of this uh, seedlings are already coming up 
in amongst all of this. Let me get down there and show you. Can you see how this would just reseed itself? Now, I'm sure some people would consider it a real nightmare, and I may <laughs> at some point, but but not today. Today I think they're wonderful, and uh, and I hope that you will think so too. By the way, I interplanted this with uh, the Chinese multicolored spinach, and it was a real slow starter to to come off. And I um, ended up cutting it so that it would divide. And you can see, I mean, I've taken where I, I say I separated that, cut it back. But um, something like this, you know, is great for a salad. Uh, it makes a beautiful salad. It makes a great presentation if you're just taking that whole thing and t the whole top and then just putting it in the skillet and wilting it. Just beautiful. Um, you could do that on top of an egg and put some mozzarella cheese or uh, uh, goat cheese or something and you'd have a really uh, nice presentation. But uh, anyway, that was that was it. I just wanted to show you that if you can get your hands on some of these seeds, like I've got my hands on some of these seeds, then uh, I, <laughs> I think um, if you could still do it this, this uh, summer... Whoa, let me just get rid of this. If you could do it this summer, uh, that would be great. And if um, if not, boy, I'd, I'd plan this for next year's garden. Uh, I'm in Florida, uh, Central Florida, Zone 9B, so I could grow these all year long, and I'll bet they'd be really pretty in my backyard in the winter. You know, when, when things have kind of died back a little bit and... Um, we get kind of heat exhaustion. So uh, anyway, I hope you'll uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, give me a thumbs up or whatever. I uh, hope you'll leave me a note. And uh, I hope to see you soon. So garden what you've got. Take care and bye-bye.